What can you do if immigration is delaying your case? You applied for a green card or citizenship or a visa or some other type of immigration benefit. And what if USCIS or the National Visa Center or a consulate is just not processing your case and everything is delayed? What should you do? Today, that is the question that I'm gonna answer and I'm gonna give you seven different ways to deal with a delayed immigration case. If you don't know me, my name is Josh Goldstein. I'm an immigration lawyer in Los Angeles, California. And I help people across the country and around the world with all sorts of immigration cases. And I'm especially interested in helping people whose immigration cases are delayed. So the first thing that you can do, the first thing that you can do is that you can file, you can call USCIS's customer service number. It's called the uh, NCSC and you can reach them at 1-800-375-5283. That's the number for 800 number for customer service for USCIS. I call this number 1-800-USELESS. It's very, very frustrating to call them because it takes a long time and the person that you speak with on the phone is usually not uh, super helpful, it's not an expert, and just to give you a sense of how valuable I think calling this number is, I manage a law practice with countless, we have thousands of immigration cases, and I, my staff and I rarely, if ever, call this number, so. But nevertheless, it is a technique that you can use, and some people have had good success with it. Um, the second thing that you can do is that you can uh, make an inquiry with USCIS by email. They have, um, this, this is particularly useful with the um, service centers. So if your case is at the California Service Center, for example, and 15 days have passed since you contacted the 800 number, the USCIS 800 number, you can email the uh, service centers. And the email uh, addresses of the service centers is published by USCIS on their website. And um, you can get that and you can email them and you can, um, uh, you can put in your receipt notice and your receipt notice will tell, will tell you where your case is at. So if your case is at the Texas Service Center, it will indicate that on your receipt notice. Uh, and that's another thing that you can do. There's another email that USCIS publishes and if you haven't had a decision 21 days after you contact the service centers by email, if they haven't gotten back to you, then you can email USCIS headquarters for the Office of Service Center Operations and you can, you can send that to them. So those are all things that you can do by email. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can put in an e-request. USCIS has an online portal and you can go on there and for cases that are outside the normal processing time, you can um, fill out a form on their website. It asks you for your receipt notice, your A number, the date that you filed, the application or petition that you filed, and your email address. You put that in there and they make an inquiry on your behalf um, and you can check to see what the status is through an e-request. Um, another idea, another way that you can um, follow up on a delayed immigration case is with the assistance of a U.S. Senator or Congressional Rep. So depending on where you live, you look up online, you can look up who your Congressional Rep is, uh, and, or you can contact a U.S. Senator, and each of these, uh, each of these politicians, elected officials, has a point person that handles what they call constituent services. And if you're having trouble with a federal agency, the senator or congressional rep will make an inquiry on your behalf to check and see what's going on with the case. And that is another technique that you can use to follow up on a delayed immigration case. Um, if your case is at the National Visa Center, if you're going through consular processing, there's an online tool that US that the National Visa Center publishes where you can enter your case number and some other information and to check the status of your case. Finally, if the delay is happening at the consulate level, then each of the consulates usually communicates with you by email and there is an email that they put out where you can make a written request by email to ask them what the status of your case is. Again, I think that um, if you ask the consulate for the status of the case, 
you're not gonna get a great meaningful response, but nevertheless, this is a technique that you can use. The final method for how you can resolve a delayed immigration case is my favorite and this is the work that i do and this is time for you to stop and listen very closely what you can do is you can file a lawsuit against the agency in federal court each of the immigration agencies has a legal obligation a mandatory legal obligation to make a decision on your case within a reasonable period of time and right now they're not doing that. They're not doing their jobs. What they're doing is wasting your time. They're not printing green cards. They are not processing visa applications at the National Visa Center because they furloughed their employees. Um, everything, is, everything is sort of broken down. And so the best strategy in the face of this bureaucratic incompetence and inaction is a legal challenge. You sue them and you force them to do their job. And this is what I specialize in. This is what I can help you with. If your case has been pending for a year and you're frustrated and you don't wanna wait anymore, I would love to help you and I would love to talk to you about how to get your green card, your citizenship, or any other immigration benefit approved, visas at the consulate, work permits. Any kind of delay is something that can be challenged and resolved through legal action. I'd love to help you, I'd love to talk to you. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.